So now that we've basically verbally defined what it means for a sequence to converge, let's see how it translates to this sequence that we've seen in the slide. So here we have plotted the elements of the sequence and we see the farther that we go with the sequence, the closer the value of the sequence become to the limit. So now suppose that I choose some positive value of epsilon here. So we have here epsilon, let's start with epsilon equals to one. And uh, well, I say that the elements of the sequence can be close as close to the limit as we please provided that we go far enough. So for example, if I were to plot this threshold, so uh, all the elements of the sequence starting from maybe this is the first and uh, this is the uh, second element. So this is probably element number three. So from the third element on all the elements with index greater than three, their distance from the limit is smaller than one. Okay. But I really want to show that this is the limit. So I say that it can be arbitrarily made, uh, the distance between the elements of the sequence and the limit can be made arbitrarily small. So now let me decrease this epsilon. Okay. So I decrease it. I decrease it, decrease it, decrease it, decrease it. And we see that now some elements has fallen out from this threshold. But we see that from element number uh, six, right, we see that all the elements with index uh, from six and on, their distance from the limit, limit is less than 0.43. And I can make it for every epsilon. So if I were now to demand that the, the distance of the elements of the sequence from the limit is smaller than, say, 0.1, let's go here, then, uh, yeah, let's take it to 0.1, then I can make it happen, right? Basically, starting from, we need to treat this like a, an inequality that we, we can solve, but there exists a place here, starting from element 21, as you can see here, the distance of, from 21, or maybe a bit farther, this is above the line. So let's, uh, let's say to be on the safe side, let's say that from, at least this is what we, we visually see, we'll later prove it rigorously, uh, how to find this place, right, as a function of epsilon. But we see that starting from element uh, uh, 24 even and on, the distance of all the elements with, distance, uh, with index 24 or bigger, uh, the distance between them and the limit is smaller than 0.1. And I can take element uh, epsilon to be as small as I please. If I uh, make the epsilon to be even smaller, then uh, some elements fall off again. But I can go farther enough here. If I go far enough, then again I see, okay, so if I want epsilon to be 0.44, then starting, it, it doesn't matter, but it works for element number 70 on, right? all the elements with index bigger than 70, their distance from the limit will be smaller than 0.044, etc. So this idea that for every epsilon, I can find this n of epsilon, this natural number, starting from which the distance of all the elements, all the elements with index greater than this n of epsilon, their distance from the limit is smaller. And if I want epsilon smaller, then how far I need to go depends on epsilon, but I can make it even smaller here. So make it even smaller implies that we need to go farther with the sequence. So let's go farther with the sequence. Let's go far enough, right? Becomes more sensitive. And we see that, for example, for, for sure, for all the elements with index greater than 220, all the elements whose index is greater than 220 their distance from the limit is smaller than 0.014. And so it is in this sense, we will go back to the rigorous definition, that this number 0.6 is the limit because it works for every epsilon. For every epsilon, I can make it as small as I only wish. Uh, well, at zero will, will not work, but I can make it even smaller like that. Uh, like that. So here I really need to go very, very far but it's doable. Let's, let's try. Let's try and see if we go very, very far with the sequence. You see now those dots are a bit, uh, uh, you know, in order 
for, for us to be able to see them, uh, they are plotted as these fat dots, but uh, okay, but they're not supposed to be that fat. I mean, they're supposed to be uh, tiny dots, but uh, that are barely visible. And so let's see if we can attain it. So now epsilon is 0 0.001, and let's see here, is it satisfied or not? Let's see, this, this point is still above the line. Okay, so we need to go farther. Okay, let's go a little bit farther here. Let's go far away, far, far, far away. Let's go close to uh, 10,000, maybe 5,000 elements. Let's go to uh, farther here. Okay, let's go here and see if it's already good enough. Yes, so we see that for sure, if we want the distance of the elements, from the limit to be smaller than 0.01, then starting from this place, all the elements with index uh, 3010 or more, their distance from the limit will be smaller, uh, will be smaller than 0.001. And this can be done for every epsilon. And this is the idea of the definition of the limit. This is the essence.